Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I've got a few things. I want to drop you guys a video message here today um, just to get you guys some information since we're getting ready to start up um, and cover just a couple different topics with you. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas um, and a Happy New Year to you all. And, and uh, <clears throat> I'm so excited to get going here now that we're, we're back from break. Um, we we're going to start our off-season program up and uh, um, we had a first team meeting last week and I kind of went over some things with the boys and now I just wanted to share it with you parents um, just kind of where we're at what I think what it's gonna look like here in the near future um, and then cover something else here in a minute but um, first I want to start with the workouts um, we're uh, we're excited to get going here um, so this week we'll start our off-season workout so and how it is going to work it is three days a week for the boys um, where we will train um, we, have, we will have a, a lower workout an upper body workout and then an explosive workout so those are the three different workouts that we will have um, three days a week um, from this point forward um, the boys have come in uh, i had i sent out a link for everybody to sign up we were initially going to do am pm group and everybody want to do ams so it is just going to be AM. We are going to start with one group. And last year we had to split them into two groups just so that we can utilize the weight room and the space that we have. We are going to start with one group and we're going to see if we're able to function in the weight room and, and, make, and get everything done that we need to get done. Uh, if we're not, we will break them into two groups like we did last year, but everybody will still be going three days a week. So um, just notice that on the schedule change and, and we'll get this the updated schedule out to you. Uh, but this week will strictly be testing for everybody. Um, so Monday and, and Wednesday this week, we will be testing all of our lifts. So with the, within those two days, they have to get their three lifts in. Um, so our, our, our testing regimen, which is gonna be on squat first um, and then bench and then hang clean. So those are the three three different tests we will do in the weight room this week. Um, Friday, we plan on getting out onto the field and testing um, our 40s and verticals and broad jumps, pro agility. Um, so that's the that's how to look this week, how we test, um, especially since I know we've got a lot of guys in season. We are not doing one rep maxes. Um, we really don't ever do that unless somebody's trying to break a record. Uh, that's the only time we will have a run one rep max. So. Um, our max range for this week will be three to five rep. So that's how we will calculate their maxes and uh, get their baseline testing. So this week for us, so none of these young men need to be worried about how much they're doing this week and, and where, their, where their strength is right now because this is baseline testing for us. This is our very first, our, our, this is where we're gonna gauge everything off of this year. And um, so this week we'll be all testing all of our baseline tests this week. Our actual program will start next week. So, um, and once again, Coach T and I are working hand in hand um, to to put that program together. We, we've got it uh, started and built out, and and we've got a great plan, I think, uh, to keep these young men healthy and to get them strong. Um, so that's something I, I talk about every year. Is the focus of our off season program is yes, we're going to get these guys. We're going to we want to get them stronger. We want to get them some of them bigger. Um, put on more muscle, be more explosive. Um, part of it will have a little conditioning aspect to it too, but um, that, yes, that's a goal. Uh, but the overall goal, overall goal is to keep these guys healthy. So um, whatever sport they're playing, keep them on that baseball diamond, keep them on the football field, basketball court, that's the goal. So um, we will keep continue to do Sparta scans throughout um, we did a Sparta scan at the end of the season. I think 90% of the guys had their theirs done um, at the end, the very end of the season, after the season was over, over. and we will continually do Sparta scans on them um, throughout this process to, to see, um, to gauge how we're doing from that whole body health standpoint. So um, that's how it will look uh, for our weight training. Um, that... The programs will start next week, but this week, so it's there's some different times on there. There's two different times where, when we will start, so depending on the day of school. So if it's a regular start day, so a regular 7.50 start, um, we, will, we will work out at six in the morning. Our workouts will start at six, so the boys do need to be there by six. 
If it is a late start day, we will start at 6.30, okay? So there's two different times there and, and you need to look at the schedule because it's not always the same days every week, depending if we're off Monday, we will go Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. But if we have a regular week, we're trying to go Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, and that could all change if we have to go two groups. Um, so we'll, we will see on that. Please just just bear with us on that. We're gonna we're gonna do everything we can. We want to try to keep it simple and keep as many guys in there together as possible without breaking the groups up. But uh, un unfortunately, because of our limited um, capabilities in the weight room with you know facilities and, and racks, we've just outgrown it. So um, we'll do whatever we can. But um, our expectation and our goal is to uh, get everybody in there together. Like it, this is a team building experience. These are things we're gonna look back on next year when we're doing our thing in the fall. We're gonna look back on these days in January and February and, and it matters how hard we worked together and pushed each other in that weight room. So we're trying to, to start that team building and team bonding and, and, and that family feel um, early on. So uh, my expectation and, and you all know I push multiple sports and I'm so glad, you know, congratulations, great basketball win yesterday. Um, wrestling team's doing great and I've been able to go out and watch um, all of you guys and, and compete. And I'm, I'm so happy you're out there doing that. So um, keep doing that. I'm always gonna push you to play multiple sports. So I'm very lenient. I, I express, express this with the, the young men on Thursday when we met um, that you know, your sport's gonna come first. I don't want to, you know, get, get you out there. If you got a basketball game on Friday, I'm not, I don't want you doing squats on Thursday or Friday. Um, but I do expect the young men to be there. So, and, and they know this, I will work with them. If they, gotta, if they have a game, if they don't feel comfortable with lifting or working, we'll just stretch. We'll do the flexibility program, but they're there with their teammates. They're there, part of this team, pushing these guys so that they can look back in that fourth quarter next year and say, hey, we were all there. We were all there at 6 a.m. in January, you know, pushing ourselves. So I do expect them to be there, um, but they do not have to lift um, if they are competing, if they have competitions coming up naturally, if they are injured. Um, but we would like them there to, to make sure they're there with their teammates, pushing their teammates, and then we can do therapy if they're if they're going through therapy and doing therapy on an ankle or an injury. We can do it during that time. Um, we can do the flexibility program, which everybody needs. Um, we can do those types of things with them um, while they're there, so they can still benefit uh, from from these workouts. Now, one thing I did share with them, and what I do ask when we get into postseason play for basketball, for wrestling, um, I tell them stay home. I don't want them there. Uh, they, I want them to get their sleep. I want them to be prepared. I want them to be focused on their sport. Um, so that is an expectation of mine. So when we start that postseason run, um, we want to make sure that those guys know, hey, they, they are not there. They should not be there. I want them home uh, and catching up on their sleep uh, and making sure they're 100% they're locked into that sport um, that they're playing. And, uh, and and that, that is, that those are my expectations and that will continue on into the spring. Much like I do in the, in the winter, if you're not playing basketball, I want you wrestling, right? So if you're not playing tennis, golf, or baseball in the spring, I'm gonna want you to run track. And you know, uh, th we've done a great job. Those guys, you don't have to compete. You don't have to go into uh, competitions, but you should be on that track team. You should be out there practicing, getting faster. Um, there, there's no reason not to. We'll lift in the mornings and you can do your track in the afternoon. So that's something that's coming down the road here, um, an expectation, but, but I love these guys playing multiple sports. So um, one other thing I did want to touch on um, is to make sure, so we, we've started just a little bit earlier this year. We went back to our times that we normally have had in, in, in the prior years um, other than last year. So they're gonna get done earlier. They're gonna have more time after the workouts. Um, so I know these guys that have cars, they, they like to go to Quick Trip and, and get something to eat before they go to class, which is good. Um, so something that I want all the parents to be thinking about is I would like these young men to eat something before we work out, and then they need to eat something immediately after we work out. And, and, and a healthy 
um, a good healthy meal. It could be a meal and a snack, a heavy snack, um, but they need to be eating. They need to they need to fuel their body before the workout, okay, with some good carbohydrates, with um, some good protein, some good fats, um, and I will share with everybody um, a, a a sheet that we have a one a one sheet. Um, that kind of helps you know what what we should be eating and how to eat clean and the right types of foods. Um, so, but they should eat before and after these workouts. Um, if if they don't, if they come on an empty stomach and then they don't refuel after the workouts, we may get a little something out of that workout, but we're not going to maximize what, what we can get out of that workout. So, th these young men need to be eating before and after. So, if they're unable to drive. Um, they should have something handy for them to eat after this workout. And naturally they should eat before the workout. So um, please keep that in mind. And, and, uh, and you know, we're, we're excited. If these young men follow what we're doing and they, and they work really hard, which I know they will, and they eat right and they do these things, their bodies are going to change. And you know, they're, they're going to, they're going to they're gonna look different by May than they do now. And then it's not going to be an overnight thing. It's a process, but, you know, they are going to look good. They're going to look better. They're going to feel better. Um, and, and usually that excites them to keep pushing even harder. So, um, we're going to, we're going to ask that these guys are eating before and after, and we're going to, we'll stay on them about that just to make sure they are doing that. And then, um, so there, there was one other thing I wanted to touch before we get through this, um, w regarding school. So we met last week and, and I did talk to these young men about starting fast. Um, it is a new semester. It is a fresh start. Um, I know some of us that have come in and that are new to the school, that aren't used to the workload, that aren't used to the demands of a private school. Um, I know that sometimes it's easy to fall behind your first time going through. Well, now we have some experience and I want everybody to make sure we're starting fast. Our rules that are in season still apply. And I, I made that clear to them. We sit at the front of the class. We turn in our assignments, we act right in the classroom. You know, we're the football team. We all represent each other everywhere we go. So that it, that is still an expectation that has not changed. And we will continue to push that to these young men, you know, every morning when we're working out. And, um, you know, it's always gonna be, yeah, we're there lifting, but then there's part of that is, is, is a preaching session for um, myself and, and maybe a coach or two. So um, the expectation in the classroom still stands. So please help us out with these young men. We've got it, the key to St. Pius is to not fall behind, mm -hmm. to do everything you can not to fall behind because the catch up process is really mm -hmm. tough um, at a school like St. Pius um, when we're trying to hold everybody to a, a pretty high standard. So don't fall behind. If somebody feels like they're falling behind, contact me and I can help. I'll get you in touch with whoever we need to get in touch with to make sure um, that your son is is able and have has all the tools he needs to succeed in the classroom first. Um, with that being said, um, how this works, you know, if, if your son is ineligible at the end of this semester, it bleeds over into next year's eligibility. So you would be ineligible for the first six weeks. So um, that's something that sh we should all keep in mind. Um, and if, if anybody's having any trouble, I'm a phone call away an email, a text, and I will do everything I can to give your son the tools he needs to succeed in the classroom and get him in touch with the right people. Um, so on that side of things, um, I wanted to address the, an issue that the school is seeing, and it's not a football team issue, but I wanted to address it with um, all of you parents to make you aware of it. Um, I am going to address it with the boys on Monday. Um, but the school is seeing an issue with um, vaping. Um, they feel like there's an issue within the school with, with students that are vaping. Um, and, you know, with that comes, you know, these vape pens, the, the, at the end of the day, the reality is we don't know what's in these vape pens, right? It, it could be nicotine, it could be marijuana. And so I wanted to address this with all of you parents to just to let you all know give you guys a heads up so you can stay on their, on your sons too, because we will be all over them um, regarding this. Uh, the, the handbook has changed this year. And the if you get caught with a vape pen um, on your person, in your bag, in your locker, in your car, it doesn't matter where it's at. If it's on school property, it is yours. If it's on, in your car, it's yours. Um, 
So if you get caught with the vape pen, it is an immediate suspension. It's a three day suspension. And then it is also a three weeks suspension from the sport that you are currently playing. Um, so, and there's no question that you're caught with a vape pen, that's it. And, and a vape pen or any type of paraphernalia, you know, that, that, that these, that the people use to, um, to smoke the vape or to smoke, uh, marijuana. So now with that being said, if there's any weed found on anybody, um, so if, if there's any marijuana residue anywhere, if there's anything regarding marijuana on your person, in your locker, in your book bag, in your car, it is immediate expulsion. Okay. So he, here's, here's one thing. And I express to these young men all the time. I know society tells us, you know, that something's okay, right? It is, it's okay to smoke weed now, right? It's legal here. It's legal there when you're a certain age. And, uh, in my mind, okay, yeah, that's fine. If society says that, that's great, but we are not, we're, we're, we're 16, we're, we're 15, 16, 17, 18 years old. Okay. Number one, we're not old enough. So it is illegal. Okay. Number two, society isn't always right. And I know this, I, I know, you know, this is a fact that these young men's brains are not fully developed until they're 25, 26 years old. And when you're 25, my message to them is when you're 25 or 26 and you want to try that, go ahead. But I, my recommendation and my expectation is that we're not doing that until that point. And where I stand on this is you, uh, I think these young men know where I stand. I hope you guys do too. Um, the, my expectation is that we as a football team are never part of the problem. We are part of the solution. So we're in that school pushing people to do things the right way. And, uh, and, and my expectation is for these kids not to do any of this. And I do know this, you know, we're, we're young adults, we're going to make mistakes. And my job as a coach and as a mentor is, is to make sure, Hey, we're not making major mistakes. And, uh, so that's why I wanted to communicate this to you guys. I will continue to communicate with them, um, to let them know that this is going to be an issue. And, and Mr. Lee um, now that he's stepping away from that AD role, he has more time to do what he used to do, which is be that assistant principal, be that disciplinarian. He is going to be walking the halls. He, he is going to be doing his job within that school to make sure everybody's on that, on that straight line. So, uh, you know, please, please reiterate this to your sons, you know, and, and make sure, and I, I will, I promise you, I will stay on them. And, you know, I'm just, we, we can tag team them from both sides and make sure that, that, uh, all these young men are doing what they should be doing and conducting themselves the way that they, sh they should be conducting themselves. So, um, I do appreciate you all and, and we have a great group and I'm not saying our group is the issue cause we're not. Um, but I, I do, I want to get ahead of this and I want to make sure that we as a football family, we are part of the solution. And, uh, and I'm going to do everything I can to, to make sure that, that we are, and, uh, you know, we have some absolutely great young men, great families that we're so thankful for. And, uh, we really, really wouldn't want to be doing this with anybody else. So, uh, but, uh, just please, please, uh, have talks with your kids and your sons and make sure that they're, that, that, that they understand the consequences, um, for some of these actions. So. Um, with all that being said, I know I've taken quite a bit of your time here. It got a little bit longer than I wanted, but, um, some good information and, uh, we're, we're excited to get going. And if you guys need anything, um, please let me know. I will have another video message coming out to you this week. We have, um, a, a new, there's a new helmet technology that I'm looking at and, uh, and I, and I may have an offer for all of you out there, um, so I will, I'll put that video together this week and get you the information you need on that. But uh, we're excited to get going. If you need anything from us, uh, just please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you and have a great Sunday.